Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and we're going to continue on with Microsoft Excel. I'm going to teach you how to do something that a lot of people have trouble with and that is putting two words in the same cell. Okay, so one on top of the other, as you see there, computer, and then it looks like it's an enter, and then parts. So it's in the same cell, just one on top of the other. Now, you may think this is simple to do, but if you don't know how to do it, it's, it's kind of tough. So let's say you didn't know, and you went into cell D2, and you typed in computer, and then you hit enter, thinking it's going to be in the same line, and then you type in parts, and you'll see that what happens is it's going to put the words into do two different cells. And the reason for this is when you typed in enter, it just goes into the next line. That is the default behavior of Excel. That's the way it should work. Right? And if you tried to be funny and did computer parts like that, and tried to use the columns to squeeze it to make it into a separate line, that's not going to work either. Right? So the way to do this is actually pretty simple. You just need to do, you do hit enter, but you're going to use another key. So we're going to type in computer right there. Hold down the alt key. Alt key is right next to the space bar in most keyboards. So you're going to hold down the alt key and you're going to hit enter. And you can see there it does go to another line, but as you can see, the cell is still highlighted. The computer cell is still highlighted. I'm going to type in parts, hit enter, and now you could see everything is in the same cell, which is pretty nice. So what happens is it's wrapping the text. You type in computer, and it sort of wraps the parts down here. And as you can see up here, you can see the wrap text icon is pressed down. As we go to another cell, let's go over here, you can see the wrap text is away. We could do the same thing. We could. Uh, probably accomplish the same thing by typing in computer parts. Right. So you can see it overfilled the column there. If I click wrap text, you can see it doesn't really do anything for me, but as I scrunch it down, that will also make it into two different parts. So computer on top of parts. So two ways to do it. You could either type in the first word, then alt enter and parts. It's one way to do it. Resize your column. Or what you could do is if you wanted to do this sort of automated. So let's say you had a lot of columns, something like that. What you could do is select both columns, click on wrap text, and then just make your columns adjust your columns accordingly to where computer is on top of parts. All right, so that was a quick and easy video of putting two words, multiple words, in the same cell, arranged one on top of the other. Thanks for watching.